Hey guys, Fraser from Geeky Merch here and I'm back with another Loot Crate unboxing for you guys. This time it is the Combat Fiend box for November 2015. If you have no idea what Loot Crate is, it's a monthly subscription box filled with geek and gamer gear. And this month we should expect stuff from Fallout, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm going to delve right in and see what we've got. It feels quite light, uh, not as heavy as others. I know there's a, a Blizzard item in here and there's definitely a Fallout item in here. I'm not big on Fallout or on Blizzard and stuff, so this might not be the box for me. But for people who are fans of it, I'm sure it will be pretty cool. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So, first thing is first. This. This looks like, uh, you know, Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles attached to some shades. Like, it's Shredder's helmet attached to some cheap Ray-Bans. Looks like something you get in a uh, Happy Meal, something like that. Um, yeah, Shredder shades, Nickelodeon. And, uh... Yeah, it looks really, really ridiculous. So, yeah, that's the first thing. And the next item is an item from The Hunger Games. It's a really cool Mockingjay pin. Yeah, it's really well made, looks really, really nice, very detailed. And I had no idea that there was going to be a Hunger Games item in the box at all, so it was a really nice surprise for me. Next up is our Blizzard item. Uh, I have no idea what this is from. It is a uh, cute but deadly mystery box looking thing, series one figure. Not something that I'm super interested in, but let's open it up and see what I've got. First off, did an awful job of opening that. These boxes never open nicely. Like, <sighs> I'm one of the people who likes to keep boxes a lot of the time, just for whatever reason, and they always tear open and it's just, it gets me. So, uh, a silver packet with uh, a bunch of different characters on. Okay, so. We are looking at this dude. So, he's really cool looking. Uh, like He lo looks like really well made and very detailed. I have uh, no idea who he actually is. Uh, so... That's that, but um, I'm sure someone will. Uh, if you know what he, that franchise the Blizzard owns that he is from, do let me know. Yeah, it comes with a stand as well. Um, and looks like the hole is on the side of his tail, so I think he sits more like that, um, sideways. And he is cute-ish, uh, and he looks deadly, so it's done what it says on the tin, I guess. And uh, apparently there are a bunch of others that you can get. This one was called Diablo. It does look like a devil. Um, but you could have got Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanus, Zeratul, Murloc, or Diablo. Or a Murloc variant, another Murloc variant, or an Arthas variant. One of the Murloc variants is a Loot Crate exclusive variant. So, if anyone got that, top job, I guess. And along in the same kind of franchise theme, we have a bunch of uh, magnets to do with cute but deadly and you can see Diablo is on there in the top there. Uh, that's pretty useless to me. I do have a fridge and I can stick magnets on it but I don't know the franchise or appreciate the franchise. So it's pretty useless to me. You can't have combat without having Street Fighter. So you'd expect something quite big to do with Street Fighter in this, in this box. You'd expect a figure or um, a piece of clothing. But instead we have... Uh, a comic book. Um, Loot Crate like putting the comic books in sometimes. They always have an exclusive variant cover. Um, and they have a lot of time, they are the first edition. Um, this one says Street Fighter Hyper Looting on it. I don't know if it's a fully exclusive comic book just for Loot Crate, but I'm not even that massive on, on Street Fighter. Um, so this is probably not even one that I'll read. It's probably one that I will end up giving away in a, a mystery box on Geeky Merch at one point. So, if that's your thing, 
keep tuned on the blog, but not for me. So, for our Fallout 4 item, we have a Vault Boy bobblehead, which is a, a, a thing that you can collect in game. And uh, I know that there's a bunch that exist. Um, you can get like kind of different variations, like there is a Charisma one, etc, etc. Um, which version this is, I don't know. I don't really know Fallout. I haven't, I've played Fallout 3 and got incredibly bored with it because I'm not a big open world fan. I can't get on with stuff like Skyrim and all those sorts of stuff. Um, so Fallout I just didn't keep me hooked. I may give Fallout 4 a try uh, at some point, but right now it's not on the top of my list. Uh, but let's have a look at this bobblehead. So this is the bobblehead. Uh, you can see his head, well, bobbles. Uh, it's got 111, which is uh, obviously a reference to Vault 111 on the back, and it says Vault Tech on the front there. Um, so, just your standard hands on hips variant. Um, I have seen this version of the bobblehead in a bunch of screenshots of the game. It's a nice little piece. Um, if I do get into Fallout, it'll be a nice little piece to display, but maybe it's something that will be given away. But very, very cool. I do. It is a nice kind of quality mould. It's well painted. Um, doesn't seem to be any deformities or missteps with paint, which is really nice. Which is what I always worry about when getting figures. Because if they've got a rubbish paint job, it's really kind of tiresome if you want a replacement. Um, but this is really nice. It feels very nice. It's got a decent weight to it. I feel like it's slightly top heavy, but with the large base, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, according to the magazine, the Fallout 4 bobblehead is exclusive to Loot Crate. The pose that the, uh, the bobblehead is in cannot be found anywhere else but Loot Crate. So that's quite a cool thing. This Fallout 4 is a big property. It's a big kind of game so it's cool that Loot Crate have managed to get an exclusive variant on their bobbleheads. You've also got the uh, Loot Crate pin uh, which is standard in every box on this one it's kind of got a big bus that has been kitted out very Mad Max style it was used on a lot of the promo art that was stuck out when promoting the crate and lastly they always kind of do something to the box uh, you can usually make it into a diorama or use it in some shape or form and this time it looks very post-apocalyptic in a way. I'm not a big fan of the box, to be fair. Um, not really my thing. Uh, and that's really because of the franchises that were involved. Uh, they're not to my taste. But for people who are into those franchises, um, there's probably a really, really nice box. Uh, a lot of it will be given away, most likely, or, you know, used as gifts, that sort of thing, which is a really cool thing about Loot Crate. If you don't like the stuff that's in it, you'd probably like one or two things, but the rest of the stuff you can use as gifts to give away to friends and family. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just not to my taste. Next month's theme, December, is definitely to my taste. The theme is Galaxy, so that means we're getting items from Galaxy Quest, from Star Wars The Force Awakens, Halo and a bunch of others. We're also getting a t-shirt and an exclusive Funko Pop vinyl. We get a t-shirt and a Funko Pop. That never happens, which is really, really cool. It did happen with a time crate and everybody loved that. So hopefully we get a decent amount of stuff and it's all good quality. If you're not signed up to Loot Crate and you want to sign up and you want a little bit of money off, then use discount code GeekyMerch at checkout. Uh, it'll give you some money off and it'll make sure you are subscribed for the next box as long as you sign up before the 19th of December. Uh, Cut-off is always the 19th unless they run out of crates beforehand. They don't usually, they used to, but not so much anymore. Uh, a lot more people are using the service so they know they need to meet demand. So make sure you don't miss out. So until next time guys, I will see you soon.